Hello there, YouTubers. Joshua Ashby here from Joshua Ashby Film Sync. And yes, by popular demand on Local History 12, which is coming up, we're gonna do Universal Pictures. Yes, because it's gonna be requested by Let's Go Looter Game 018. So thank you, Let's Go Looter Game 018, for requesting me to do this. So let's get this right to it. So first one is is what we call Universal Films. Yes, the the globe does does go this way in a in a direction, of course, with the stars, and of course, it is all brown, and it's made in the USA, of course, which, that reminds me of the, the movies, because I'm not sure if I use it there, but if you guess it in the comments, that will be good. And then after that comes Universal uh, Trademark, the Transatlantic Film, whatever that is, yeah, Universal Films, yes. And then after that comes the Universal Films Manufacturing Company, with the Pacific Coast Studios, University Universal City, California, with the I don't know, maybe a Saturn or a uh, globe or whatever. Yeah, and then after that comes uh, well, pretty hard to see, but it's a uh, Universal Pictures. Uh, you know, uh, it's, yeah, it could be something else like that. And then after that comes the this person, uh, hmm, Carl uh, L or. Not sure who that is, but if you guess it, that'll be great. And then after that comes the uh, Universal Pictures. Yes, but a uh, uh, plane that flies around and reads uh, Universal Pictures. Of course, that reminds me of the film, like, you know, Cry Baby, you know, that stars Johnny Depp on it, which just like in an Elvis film, which that'll be great. And after that comes the, the stars with the uh, rotating letters, the Universal Pictures, like, you know, a Universal Pictures, like that. Yes, that is also taken from the films that uses that as well. And then comes Universal International. Yes, yes, the, that was the black and white, but it's gonna be in color, of course, like that. Which re reads Universal International. And that reminds me of the Woody Woodpecker cartoons, like that, that used to say. Yeah. And then after that comes the Universal Release and the Universal NMCA Company. Yes, that logo was from the films. Oh, and uh, as uh, for Universal Television, uh, Reminds me of the Law of the Rose series that uses that, of course. And then comes the Entertainment Universal Studios Center of the World, which is, you will see at the end of the films, like that. And then, when in Hollywood, this is Universal Studios, there's a little bus, and of course, uh, the buildings, the lights, and all kinds of crap. And then comes the 75th anniversary of Universal, yes. That is also taken from the films, uh, you know, with the, the, the orchestra music of Universal, uh, you know, the 75th. And then there's the normal one. And then comes this. Yes, this one is is the current one. Yes, the Universal one. The, the website of Universal Studios. If you want to go check it out, that would be great. And of course, the the music was read up. Marco, if you haven't heard of that. So yeah. And of course, it was for the films. And of course, the television that uses this. And then comes Universal 100th Anniversary. Yes, the one that reminds me of the Lorax, you know, the film that uses that. And that's a normal one with the, the word, just the words Universal Account Co Co Company. Yes, the current year, which is uh, this year, the 2021 20, of course. Well, anyways, guys, that was the logo history of Universal Pictures. Yes, thank you to Let's Go Lunar Games 0818 for requesting me to do this. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, and as always, I just want to say... Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give a like if you like it, make sure to check out videos, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the notification bell in our next video ever again. Peace out!